Welcome back to our Road to Nebula series here on BO6 Zombies. And in our last video, our top comment was from Who's Day. Saying that they want us to get any pistol done on Liberty Falls, but we can't upgrade our armor and we can only buy one extra self revive per game. So that's what we'll be doing today. But before we hop into game and I start grinding out the camos for our Greg Hova pistol here, I want to show you guys my pseudo ring of fire build that I think will help a lot with camo grinding. And really quick, here's the build I'm using for the pistol if you're curious by the time we get into the game. I've been working on this augment combination for a while and I finally have everything unlocked to put it to the test. So for First of all, you want to upgrade Frenzy Guard all the way to max because at max you get this augment here, this major augment, Frenzy Fire. So this already kind of works like Ring of Fire, but we're not done at this part. Also for our minor augment, I recommend using Extension. Next, you're going to want to level up your Speed Cola augments and the one you're looking for here is Phantom Reload. This will slowly reload your magazine over time. So while you're either you're using your Frenzied with the augment they were just talking about, it'll just sit there and reload your magazine or while you're running around the map, not really paying attention to it it'll take care of it for you. Alternatively, you can use Supercharge, so that way you can get your Frenzied Guard that we were just talking about faster, but I think Phantom Reload might be a little bit better, but I might swap between the two. And then for the Minor Augment, I don't think any of these really help that much for camo grinding, maybe the Mystery Box one if you're trying to do multiple weapons, but I think Quick Swap is probably the best one for this. And finally, we have the Deadshot Daiquiri Augments, and the one you really wanna go for here is Dead Again. So you're already gonna be trying to get these headshots, and this gives you the chance to benefit from it, and it helps out a lot with this Ring of Fire thing that I'm trying to go for. Additionally, I recommend going for Dead Break here as your minor augment because it increases your damage to armor. And there's one more augment here that might help out, but I don't have it unlocked yet. And I don't think it's going to be that practical, but it's hidden impact here for melee macchiato where melee kills will reload a portion of your held weapons ammo. But I don't really see myself going for a whole lot of gun butts, especially in later rounds. Now that that's out of the way, we can get to grinding. And before this map even came out, everyone said that Liberty Falls was going to be the camo grinding map. And I agree, but there is one big blemish on this map. And that's that you can't get dead shot until round 25 until now. After all the Easter eggs came out, there have been a lot of side Easter eggs that have been discovered and they're still discovering a bunch, but there is a nice little side Easter egg we can do to get dead shot early, but uh, it takes a little bit of skill that unfortunately I don't think I possess very much. Like uh, ironically to get dead shot, you need to have some pretty good aim, but we're still going to try for it. And even if I can't get it done, I can at least give some of you guys the knowledge to get it done. But also there's a nice little side Easter egg here with the vending machine where if you just like crouch, come up here and melee it, you can get random stuff out of this. You can get anything from like ray guns to aether crystals to perks to essence. And you can do it once per round. I think when playing in multiplayer, only one player can do it per round. So it won't let like all four players come up and get a reward. So just, you know, be near that vending machine if you want to get the reward. Also, let's spin for our gobble gum. I got a few on here that should help with grinding as well. What do we got? Oh, stock option right away. Perfect. That'll help us out with our ring of fire build. Because if you don't know, stock option works just like the augment that we have for Frenzy Guard, where we'll shoot out of our stock instead of from our magazine. And vending machine, help me out. Right about now. Hold on. Gotta wait for the round to fully change. And now give me something. Wow. Awesome. Can't do anything with that. And I think it might be the stock on this pistol that's doing this, but it's really cool that the ADS on this is almost like how the chainsaw grip attachment worked on some LMGs. We just have like this slight zoom in here. You're not fully ADSing, but you can still get like all that benefit. All right, let's hit the vending machine one more time before you move out of this area. Come on, help me out. Give me something good. Right about now. Oh, Essence? You know what? That's not bad. Oh, we had double points up. I'll take a little extra and we'll get a little extra from this and maybe from the pool table before double points ends. Ooh, barely. Let's go. Also, because I forgot to say in the intro, if you guys want to decide what gun I do next, go ahead and leave a comment down below of what you want to see me do. And the top comment will be the weapon that we do in the next video. So if you see somebody down there already, you know, comment whatever weapon you want to do, just go ahead and, you know, like that comment up. And now that we're getting a few weapons deep, I should have a comment down there as well with all the weapons that we've already completed. So make sure you check that first so we don't get any repeats. But there's also a nice little side Easter egg that was discovered over here that can help with not only getting camos but just getting set up in general and all you gotta do is throw a nade right up here to this head and once that blows up it's gonna be raining men over here we're gonna have zombies falling from the sky they're gonna drop some essence 
some score streaks and i think at the very end of it you're guaranteed to get a uncommon aether tool so you can get your weapon all the way up to well i guess not all the way up but you can give your weapon a little bit of an upgrade early in the game here and save yourself from salvage and the great thing about this side easter egg is it helped me discover that rcxds are actually kind of useful because i don't know about you guys but whenever i get like the the sam trial challenges with rcxds i only get like a killer maybe two when i use them i've been using them wrong it's not really about the size of the score streak or the size of the boat it's about the the motion of the ocean and the motion here is kind of mormon-esque because we're not going to be moving at all insane analogy but you guys will see what i mean in a second here i just park it here on, on the stairs and nothing gets to it this is kind of like cold war where the rcxd was kind of crazy and it would do a decent amount of damage with this little EMP thing that it does. And it's not as crazy in this game as it was in Cold War, but it still does quite a bit. And especially if you have it parked in the right spot. Like I can literally just sit here with it and it I haven't seen zombies been able to get to it, at least here on the early rounds. I haven't tried it on a later round yet. And if you mess up with it, it gives you a few RCXDs or at least a chance to. I've seen it drop other score streaks. Like we have a sentry gun right here, a hellstorm missile. And it's a good way to get a decent amount of cash for pack-a-punch without really even having to shoot a bullet. But now we got enough for pack-a-punch. Let's grab that and start lighting these guys up. And I mentioned before about getting dead shot early on this map, because as you may know, there is no Deadshot Daiquiri machine here. You have to get it from the Wonderfizz that only spawns in on round 25. But over here in the cemetery, if you walk on over to this zombie spawn, there's a few cans over here on the fence that you have to take down in a certain amount of time. And if you get them all, you should be able to get Deadshot. Now, I don't know if this is true or not. I've only been able to do it with a sniper. You can probably do it with some other weapons, but I don't think I'm being like as accurate with my weapon to get it done. So for this, I like to head over here to this road, opening this barrier and heading on over here to this sniper wall by. This is the LR762. And I already went ahead and put a zombie build on it. You can do this in the create a class menu. There should be an option underneath where you can set it as your zombie build. And I would definitely recommend dwindling the round down a little bit before you go to try this because the worst thing you want happening when you're trying to shoot a few little cans on the road is a zombie coming up and knocking you or hitting you and messing up your shot also i think i'm gonna pick up a little speed coal to help out a little bit just to speed up my bolt time we got one zombie left in the round here i'm gonna go ahead and take him out Pull out the sniper, come over here. I'm going to crouch to help with my aim and then stabilize a little bit and see if I can take him out. There's one, two, three, four, and five. We did it first try. Let's go. I was struggling with this so much yesterday. But if you're having trouble hitting those, I recommend going into your settings just for the shot, going to graphics, going to view and setting your field of view down to 60 because when i was testing this out earlier it felt like i could hit the shots a little bit better when it was more zoomed in but i definitely would not play like this i i feel like i'm gonna get claustrophobic from it and now we have every single item that we went ahead and upgraded our augments for to test out our ring of fire method so let's go ahead find a nice corner here get them all lined up and let's pop our frenzy guard and go for it now, no ammo is coming out of my mag. It's all coming from the stock. And I think some ammo is coming back. We might be shooting a little too fast to see. But it's working. We can finally camp again. Because Ring of Fire was such a huge crutch for me back in Cold War. And it was just the best field upgrade in general to use in that game. It was hard not to use Ring of Fire. But it helped out a lot for speeding up getting camos done. Oh, and they're going to give me Elemental Pop. Do I want that? Fine. And some gobble gums. Where are we getting? Come on. Shields up. Is that it? Yep. That reminds me. Should probably uh, start stocking up on these. Oh, soda fountain. That's also a, probably a way to get dead shot early, but not everyone's going to have those gobble gums at the ready. And when it comes to ammo mods for camo grinding, I don't really think any of them really help out all that much. Uh, cryo freeze, maybe because it's not going to take away your kills, just slow zombies down. But I honestly don't even run a ammo mod when I'm grinding camos. Unless I'm getting to like a later round, then I'll throw on like napalm burst or something. But I've talked about what augments and everything can help out with kind of making a pseudo ring of fire build, but we don't have a ring of fire spot. You know, where's our colonel's office? Well, over here in the bank, you guys know that there's a vault here that you can open up. There's a few sticky notes going around where you can find the code for it. But I got a comment the other day of somebody. I'll show it on the screen right here. Sorry, I'm forgetting your name. I apologize. But there's a nice little strategy where we can use the spot in front of the vault as our colonel's office. So we can sit here and get kills and, oh, I ran out of ammo. I'm about to get hit. We open up the vault combination. 
the zombies are to go ahead and walk away and then we go ahead and exit and they're still going to be walking away for a bit and it's going to be about like i don't know 10 15 seconds until they re-aggro on us and come back and I don't know how many times you can do this round. Oh, wait, we can do it again. So there's just only a slight cooldown on it. I'm sure this eventually is going to get patched. So I guess use it while you can. But I think this is a pretty nice spot that I'm going to try out a little bit. I don't think it's going to be that fast for getting kills. I think it's probably still faster just to go like on the roof of the bank and go for kills there. I think the spawns would be a bit faster, but it is more difficult to do to, you know, be up there and stay alive. But it's an option out there. But speaking of the roof, another spot you can try out and shout out to Silky for showing me this spot or at least showing me that you can grind camos here. I'll be right over here on this secondary rooftop next to the projector that you got to use for the Easter egg. Now, I haven't tried this out yet, so we're going to see how this goes. But all the zombies have to come at you from this side here. Like they, they have to come at you from that jump spot down from the roof or climb up from right here. So this is where our frenzy guard will come into play. Because with Frenzy Guard active, as long as I have armor, I'm not going down. I am not going to be taking any damage at all. And we get our nice augment here to help us out and can absolutely tear through zombies. Actually, this ain't bad. It's just a little dangerous, I think. Because you don't got your augment and you start getting overrun here, there's nowhere to go but through them. Or at least you can get like a little early access here on this zombie spawn and kill them before they get up to the roof to jump back down. But we are going to run out of ammo soon here. Ammo has been a problem for me in this game. I always seem to be running out of it. And those max ammos only start spawning whenever I go to buy ammo. So let's go ahead and get one to spawn, I guess. And I guess we can do this as well. Let's go to our little viewfinder and find our dancing zombie over here on the mountain. We got to see it in both of the binoculars. Got to watch them bust down from right here and then go over to this one and watch them bust down again. Where you at? There you are. Now go ahead, activate the, the beams and everything. Start the music. Get it going. Please. There we go. And once they do that, all the zombies are going to go up on this bus. And then they're going to line up pretty nicely for us to get a few extra headshots here. With absolutely no one coming to hit us. And I haven't really been able to determine what causes the zombies to, like, start attacking you again. Because I've been able to stand up here and shoot them, you know, without them coming to hit me. But I think zombies that spawn after the fact, like after you already started shooting, they'll come after you and be all aggro. Like this little vermin here. You don't want to dance for us. But all these guys, nice easy lineup. Ooh, okay. Look at him. He's doing like the, the emo dance from South Park where they take like a step and a drag from their cigarette. Ah, oh, get it. But that could be really useful on like a higher round or something where the, the zombies are a bit more tough and you're, you're going to need like some points or something. Good way to get them to stop slapping you around. Let me get this to purple. Let's open this up and let's pop our soda fountain as I'm grabbing this and it's going to give me melee macchiato. Okay. Uh oh, we got an abomination. You know what? Let's see how this spot fares against an abomination. We'll see if they get distracted by it too, or at least leave us alone. I'm going to stand here at the door, shoot them while they're coming in this way. I don't see any coming in the front entrance yet. Oh, there we go. Let's still hold them off as long as we can. Oh, there's our buddy. What's up, dude? Oh, there's our whiteout camo too. He went for the laser in the absolute worst spot. And entering the vault. Don't mind me, you know, just messing around with my numbers. <whistles> All right, now let's see. Oh, yeah, he did walk away. That's what I thought. Little bastard. But I do think this spot is uh, pretty cheesy. I don't know how much I'm going to be using it. Uh-oh. Yeah, try to charge at me. See what happens. Yeah, get out of here. Scram. What power up we got over here? Full power. Nice. You should have brought me some ammo, though. You know, try being considerate, Abomination. Eh, actually, you know what? Well, we got this guy. Let's take him for a walk. I got things to do. We'll slap this around. Oh, we broke it. Shit. I forgot about that. So if you want to keep using this, uh, maybe don't punch with Melee Macchiato. I don't know if it's going to be repaired for us to come back to and try, but uh, we can try again next round. And to uh, state the obvious here, your Frenzy Guard's going to work a bit better uh, when you have more armor than I do, but for the sake of the challenge, I ain't throwing any more on. We don't need it. And you know what? Let's take advantage of this bug round and uh, use a Sam Trial to get a few more zombies to spawn in here. Using Trials is also pretty good for getting some extra camo progress where you normally wouldn't because if you haven't noticed whenever you use these trials they normally give you you know whatever 
you need to complete the challenge. Like if it's a specific score streak they want you to get kills with or a perk, it'll give you one temporarily. But it'll also spawn in zombies, or in this case, vermin, that it wants you to get kills on. So it's just a nice way to get a little extra headshots here. So I'm pretty sure they do still count towards your total, but they just don't count for points. Like right now we're at 493 eliminations. And if we just take a few out, it goes up to 40 or 502. So they still count kill wise, but you just can't cheese it for extra points. I still haven't turned off the arachnophobia mode. They still just look hilarious. I can't believe they literally just removed the legs from them. They look ridiculous. They're actually kind of cute like this, I'm not gonna lie. They are a pain in the ass though. But I'm just so happy on how this game has delivered. Like, there was so many doubts people were having after like the, the trailers and everything came out and like the COD Next gameplay came out where everyone was like, oh, it's gonna be trash. This is ass. Well, I guess not everyone, but you know, a lot of the doubters came out, but it's actually lived up to a lot of the hype that it was getting prior to COD Next, where the trailers were going, everyone was getting excited, how the game looked really good. The trailers for the Zombies maps looked really good, and it's just been so much fun. Even my friends that haven't really played COD in a long time, even just not played Zombies, have hopped on since it's been on Game Pass and everything giving it a try and been enjoying it. And on top of that, I just wanted to thank you guys for the support you've been giving the videos on zombies in this game. It's been amazing. You know, some people coming back from the Cold War grinds that didn't really mess with Modern Warfare zombies and some people that have tried out round base for the first time after playing Modern Warfare zombies. Like each of the videos I put out so far I had like over a thousand likes. Uh, we've been getting a lot of new subscribers, so I just, I really appreciate you guys. And I just really wanted to thank you. And hopefully I can uh, provide you guys with some good content and some good tips for grinding these camos out. But as I was going through my yap session there, we had to leave our spot. So maybe not the safest on round 19, especially without Frenzied Guard. I think I might just stick to training on top of the roof. We'll give the Volt another shot, especially that we got the trial right here. Death from above. Yeah, we can stand on top of this. Wait a second. The zombies are going to climb on top of this to try to get to me and not slap me from the side? Is this a new Forsaken truck spot? Please do not patch this one, Treyarch. I'm begging you. Okay, hold on. I need ammo to really test this out. And you know what? For fun, let's use stock option. I haven't really used this gobble gum at all yet in this game. Let's see if we can get it done. So far, so good. We're making it work. This is sick, actually. So even if they do end up getting rid of the whole vault method, if they keep this counter here, I might use it. This is this seems way less cheesy than making all the zombies turn and walk away from you. And we got a nice little reward for it. Epic Aether Tool. Already got my weapon at Epic Game. You're a little too late on that. Well, I guess I can get it on this. Let's try it with our Frenzied. And uh, I'm going to try to tap this a little bit more. I think I might be spraying too much, and that's why I run out of ammo pretty fast i say as i immediately continue spraying but if we don't got zombies in our face we can take the time and tap it a little bit okay we're getting roughed up a little bit right here let's try to loop around emphasis on try holy shit back to the vault don't don't mind me just uh putting some numbers in you know crunching the numbers you know how i do what if i guess it right here nope didn't work Uh-oh. Do it again. Leave me alone. See you later. Goodbye. You guys got to get out of here. Scram. And I'm still not doing the best on ammo. I'm going to the roof. So over here, we got ammo. We got our arsenal. And we can uh, take any of these zip lines at any time. Which I think is probably the safest option. Because you just got to train around slightly. You can't always just stand still in this game. But this spot's worked out pretty decently for me. This is mainly where I go. Oh, and where I go, the trial follows. Let's keep it going. What we need? Don't take damage? That's my middle name. I'm, I'm Joe Don't Take Damage Money. Oh, shit. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I get it, I get it. That was a bad joke. Stop hitting me. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Very, very dangerous here. Let's lock in. Throw the decoy out. Gotta get the mangler while he's not distracted. Also, try to light the rest of these guys up. Ah! 
There we go. Keep it moving. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, zombies. Sit down. And we can go ahead and get this bad boy to legendary, too. So far, this pistol's been very good. I like it a lot. I love me a full auto pistol. And honestly, when I first started getting it leveled and everything, I didn't like it too much, but adding on the, the headshot and barrel to this, on top of, you know, a nice little suppressor for the extra drops for salvage, it hasn't been too bad. Oh, and I don't think we got legendary on that. Damn it. Still might get something good, though. Eh, whatever. Oh, we do have enough to go get pack three, though. Let's uh, make our way on over to the church. Give me that. And while we're out and about, let's grab some stamina up and see if the vending machine's broken still. Yeah. Damn it. Okay, maybe we don't get melee macchiato if you're going to be using the vending machine. Oh, now we get our hidden power gobble gum. That would have been nice earlier. Would have saved us some salvage. This is so satisfying. Just got to make sure that we're always armored. I'm just sitting here tapping my armor button while I'm using this. Just to make sure that we keep it. Oh, shit. And Frenzy Guard's over. We should get moving. We're way over the top. Time to bounce your ass. What are you talking about, Weaver? Who who you want to bounce their ass? One of these zombies? Well, I guess I do have the zombie Weaver skin on. So I guess it wouldn't be too crazy. But you hear them farting, Weaver. You want them bouncing and farting on it? You're a nasty man. Those years in Terminus kind of fucked you up, huh? But after we get our crits, we need to get like 15 mangler kills i think and then we need to get like five crits rapidly 15 times and then we're done with all the camos actually no that's not true we still need to get our, our 15 kills rapidly or 10 kills rapidly 15 times after that oh there's our 2000 crits let's go now we just need to take out these manglers come here pal tell your friends Oh, no. We are going to have to use our first self-revive of the day. But at least it came all the way at round 28. And we made it pretty far without it. I really need to get that quick revive upgrade. Where I can revive myself from the ground like in Cold War. But I wonder if that counts as using a self-revive in this game. Like, I wonder if it'll still allow me to purchase one. Uh-oh. We got to get out of here. No! The game's forcing us out. Of course. Every time I, I go down in a game of zombies, it just it just spirals. Damn, I was feeling confident too. We could have got that all done in the same game, but we fumbled. The worst part about dying right there is we're going to have to make it to like, what, round 10 or something until we can see manglers again? And that's all we need right now. That and just, I guess, rapid critical kills. But I'm glad we got some indigestion here to help us out. This is the best gobble gum in the game. <laughs> How can you say this game isn't peak? That's a long one, buddy. Now this absolutely should be our camo. Ain't no way it's not. Come on. Stop holding back on me, game. Hand it over. We're racking up all these crits. Oh, I deserve my camo. There it is. Now we just need some manglers to spawn back in. Come on, zombies. I don't give a shit about you. There's the guy we're looking for. Please send more. This is actually very satisfying. Until we run out of ammo and get caught in a tough spot like this. But if you're ever in a tough spot, you can go ahead and throw a nade at the chandelier. And that should spawn in a nuke. Oh, there's an insta-kill too. What happened on the nuke? My thermo... Oh, I probably used the worst grenade for it. I don't think the thermal grenade worked. Let's throw a decoy. Go to it. Now, where is a nade at so I can actually show you guys? All right, here. We'll just cook this one a little bit. Toss it up. And that also didn't work. Okay, well, if you're in a tough spot in here, be smarter than I am. Maybe an impact grenade works better. Yep. Glows green a little bit. And nuke should spawn where you were standing when you threw the nade. Just keep that in mind. I'm pretty sure you can only do it once. That'd be kind of broken if you could just spawn in more. Oh no! Why didn't I just use the vault? Man. Well, there goes another self-revive. Let's uh, 
Try not to let it all go downhill this time. But maybe we can just get out of here. With that last Mangler kill. Is that our last? Could it be, please? Nope. Oh, wait. This one will be, though. Mm, nope. Are you our last Mangler? Mm, I don't know. Don't look like it. Come on. I said I wouldn't know if I'd be using this vault method this much. And it's a little too cheesy, but here I am. Don't judge me. Oh, there's our camo. See, it works. No. Now we just need kills rapidly and we're done. And I was hoping we can get it done in this round, but it's another bug around. Actually, let's use this. Have that spawn in some zombies for us. And we'll just not do what the trial's asking. A little decoy action. Ah, uh, only six seconds left before all the zombies disappear. We got to go now. Oh, finished the round though. Let's see if we can get it all done before Axfil. Come on, full power would be nice right about now. I can knock this out with Frenzy Guard easily. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <gasps> no, dude, I got sniped out the air. Oh, look at him coming to get the kill. This is such a sick animation though. I can't believe this. I gotta see what our progress is on that. Because I feel like we're like a kill away. Or at least like one rapid kill away. Where are we at? Oh, three more. Oh, I never threw on the third extended mag. That would have been good. My 60 rounder. All right. Last game for sure. I'm using the rampage inducer. I got to punish myself for going down this much. You got to get better. Oh, yeah. The 60 round mag helps out a ton. And definitely spray way more. Maybe the game was trying to tell me something those first two downs. So like, go put on the better mag, dumbass. Should have listened. Actually, you know what? Maybe we can just get it done in the first room. I ain't leaving here until I got my camo. Ain't no need to leave. We're gonna fight through it. And actually, this might be a good way to get it done. Let's throw a quick decoy. Let's activate our... What is this? Insta-kill type beat. Gimme. And... Maybe that's it. And we got another insta-kill after. If it's not. Oh, decoy mastery. Damn it. I got baited. Oh, wait. No, I did get it. Let's go. Nice little mystic gold. Appreciate it, zombies. Thanks for helping out. Only well, took us three games. I guess we'll stay in this first room until we make it to the X-Fill round. We got to get out of here in one piece one of these times. Come on, vending machine. Pack a punch crystal. Oh, I want to give me nothing good. It's shy. I don't want to give out its goods on camera. Oh, now we hit the X-Fill. Just right before we leave. Vending machine. You got one more try to give me something good, please. Oh, it's only essence. Uh-oh. Can I even start it up? These zombies want me dead. Come on. I don't want to miss this x fill. Oh, an insta-kill. That's just what we're looking for. Not another down. We're going to have to be flawless on getting out of here. Let's try to start it up. There we go. Now show me where it's at. Ooh, in front of the bowling alley. I have barely ever gotten this x fill. Now let's get the hell out of here. I only got one impact grenade and our insta kill is done. Let's see if we can get these 30 kills that we need to get out. It's going to be pretty rough. What if we grab the Tanto? That's a little bit better. Nade. Ooh, shit. This is rough. We got 40 seconds. We just can't panic. Got to stay calm. Play smart. Let's bring our knife out to run a little bit so we can regen. Got 30 seconds to catch that ride. Yeah, 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 Blanchard. Quit chirping in my ear. Maybe I'll kill these zombies a bit faster. I know, Blanchard. I know it's not waiting. Stim. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. I don't think we're making it. It's, it's Jover. Damn. That's three straight games we didn't make it out. And now we got our pilot killed. That's so hard, though. I love that the Mangler does that. They absolutely destroyed these endgame animations. They're so sick. Let's go take a look at it. And this is what our Ova pistol, or however you say it, looks like in-game with Mystic Gold. It looks pretty nice. I, I left all the attachments on here, so it looks kind of crazy. But still, it's a nice-looking camo, and honestly, the map that we're on looks pretty nice, too. This is like the nuked version of, of Nuketown. Pretty sick. Cool idea. I'm glad they finally did something like that. But also, here's the version without all the attachments. It's just a, a normal looking pistol. Not like the SMG version we turned it into. But 
That worked pretty good in zombies. It was not too bad. We made it pretty far with it until we didn't. But that might just be more of a me skill thing than a, a weapon issue. Anyways, there you have it. We got our pistol done with that nice little augment combo that I cooked up. Hopefully our pseudo ring of fire can help you guys out with grinding some camos or even maybe using those spots or little side Easter eggs on Liberty Falls. Either way, I hope some of those tips can help speed up the camo grind for you guys. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here again. Leave a suggestion down below of what weapon you want to see us do next. Top comment will be the weapon that we do in the next video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.